Hello and welcome to a new video from the PostgreSQL series. In this video you will learn how to join tables. So we'll say create table like we have seen in the last video followed by the name of the table space we open parentheses then we need to define the name of the column so the first column will be called city of data type var char with maximum of 80 characters followed by a comma the next column is temperature low which of data type integer temp high or temperature high of data type integer and the last column will be the date which is of a data type just date enter we close the parentheses semicolon and enter all right let's also create a second table called cities to store cities and their geographical location so we'll say create table the name of the table which is cities the first column will be called name which will be the name of the city of type varchar or character and location which is of a data type called point and PostgreSQL supports data type that represent two-dimensional geometric objects the most basic geometric data type is the point to verify that these tables are successfully created we will type backslash dt and indeed we have two tables stored in our list of relations all right so let's start by the cities table so we will insert into cities the values the first name is Fukushima, which is the name of a Japanese city. And the location is simply the coordinates. So it's 141.0 and 38.0. Good. And let's insert a second row. And we'll change the name of the city to be Nagoya. And it has coordinates of 136 and 35 enter now we have inserted two rows in the cities table so let's check them out so we'll say select all from cities perfect let's also create two rows in the weather table so we will say insert into followed by the name of the table which is weather and we want the following values so the city which is Fukushima 18 which is the temperature low 5 which is the temperature high and the date which is today's date 2020 October 30s close that semicolon enter and likewise for Nagoya okay and now we have two rows inside our weather table and let's check that out we'll say select all from weather and there it is we have now created two tables with two sets of data so we can select all from cities where name is equal to Nagoya and there it is we have one row with Nagoya and the corresponding location let's say that we want to check the city in the weather table where the temperature high is less than seven degrees so we can say select all from weather where temperature high is less than seven and it's true that Fukushima has temperature high of 5 which is less than 7 and as the weather table has only two records it just displayed one row for Fukushima 
Okay, good. Thus far, our queries have only accessed one table at a time. Queries can access multiple tables at once, or access the same table in such a way that multiple rows of the table are being processed at the same time. A query that accesses multiple rows of the same or different tables at one time is called a join query. For example, if we want to list all the weather records together, with the location of the associated city. So we need to compare the city column, which is this one, with the name of the column of all the rows in the city's table and select the pairs of rows where these values match. To do that, we will just type select all from weather cities where name is equal to Nagoya, for instance. Observe that there are two columns containing the city name, this one and this one. This is correct because the lists of columns of the weather and the city's table are concatenated. In practice, this is undesirable. So you will probably want to list the output columns explicitly. To do it, we will say select and we will choose each field of the weather column. We will say city, temp low, temp high, the date and location from both tables. So from weather and cities where city is equal to name semicolon enter it's widely considered good style to qualify all column names in a join query so that the query won't fail if a duplicate column name is later added to one of the tables so this is one way to write a join query but join queries can also be written in this alternative form so we will say select all from weather and we want to inner join these two keywords and then the name of the second table which is cities on then we'll open parentheses weather which is the name of the first table dot city is equal to the second table dot name we want to join both of these columns using the city and the name fields semicolon and enter and now we get a better representation we have the first table right here starting from city and ending at the date then it's concatenated with this second table which is the city table name and location so we have all the records concatenated or joined together so this was how to join tables using inner join query i hope you liked the video thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.